Hey everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how you can use Static Man to add user-generated content uh, like a, a blog uh, comment on a blog post or a review on a product uh, to a static site. In particular a Jekyll site running on GitHub pages. Um, I've set up a very basic uh, Jekyll site called Popcorn uh, where I have uh, movie reviews. And we have a list of, of reviews uh, containing the, the title of the movie, the author, the, uh, the rating, and the description. And we have um, a form that people will be able to use to submit uh, new reviews. If we look at the, uh, the code for this real quick, we can see that we have um, data files. So each each review uh, has its own data file um, that are they're located within data, which is the the directory that Jekyll uses to uh, to store data files uh, and reviews. And we are including this in the templates by cycling through all the data files, uh, so all, all the reviews. Um, and then outputting a like a card for for each of the reviews with the with the appropriate fields. There is another partial which contains the form um, for submitting a new review. Now, if if we look at the action attribute here, uh, we can see that it's that it's empty, so it's not it's not doing anything. It's not going anywhere at the moment because this this is a static site, so we don't have. Um, a, a server to, to, to process our requests, which is what we're going to tackle with um, with static man. So the, the first step to get it running is we need to add static man to our repository. And we do this by, uh, this is my repository by the way, um, if I go to settings to collaborators I'm going to search for static man app. Um, I'm going to add it as a collaborator. Now at this point the um, the invitation is still pending. So in order to 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 tell static man to accept it we need to to ping this this URL here uh, which I'm going to do v1 connect yeah and then I'm going to I'm going to uh, specify my github username and the name of the repository. So, okay, so we should be good to go. If I refresh this, yeah, you can see that the, the invitation has been accepted. So at this point, uh, static man is connected to our repository. So the next step is to add some, um, some configuration parameters to our Jekyll config uh, file. So I'm not going to go through all these in detail because you can find you can find that information in the README file on the repository. Uh, just a just a couple of important ones to mention. Um, in allowed fields, I'm specifying the list of of fields that uh, that uh, an entry can contain, and these match with the names of the fields that my form contains. Uh, Please note that all the fields need to be inside a fields array, and this is because you can choose to pass uh, extra information. So you can you can choose to pass any type of metadata to to static man, like the the, the title of the post or the slug um, or or anything. So and you don't necessarily want those things to end up in the final data file. So that's why we namespace. Uh, all the fields that we want in data file within the fields array. We also have the name of the branch, in this case it's each pages, uh, the path, so in this case uh, it's data reviews, and the file name. So I have chosen to, to name the my files as entry and then a numeric um, a numeric timestamp which I can generate by using this uh, at timestamp placeholder. 
So anything within curly braces on, on the, both the file name and path fields uh, are used as placeholders by static man. So I could choose to, um, to grab any, any of the fields that I, that I pass to static man. For example, I could choose to, to do uh, fields.name. So then <clears throat> the, the, the name of the file will be, would be named after whatever the, the name um, field in the request is. Uh, but in this case, I just want a timestamp, so I'm going to use this special placeholder called add timestamp. Uh, and finally, I'm, uh, I, I want to mention this um, this moderation uh, this moderation field, which which specifies whether entries will be published automatically to this GH Pages branch, or if they they require your approval. Before they are before they are published, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go into more detail into how that approval process uh, happens in, in a little bit, but for now I'm gonna save this file. And the final thing we need to do to hook this up is um, specify the URL um, that the form needs to post to, which will be uh, you can you can find this uh, all this information in the uh, in the website. But in this case, it'll be uh, v1, the entry endpoint, and then I need to specify my uh, the location to my repository, so my username, name of the repository, and then finally the uh, the name of the branch, which needs to match uh, whatever you set here in the config file. Otherwise, the um, the, the 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 request will fail. Okay, so. I will commit this um, I'm gonna so add static man I'm gonna push this to uh, GH pages so yeah add static man is it's here so now I'm gonna uh, refresh this um, I'm just gonna yeah I'm, I'm gonna submit um, a, a review so movie title finding Nemo maybe I'm gonna give it two stars um, it was okay cool so I'm gonna submit this and okay so review submitted so what happens now because we we've set uh, m moderation to true what what static man does is it creates uh, a pull request for us so it, it doesn't publish the, the data file automatically and instead it creates a, a pull request um, to merge this data file that it that it created into the GH pages branch so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna approve this this entry so I'm gonna just merge this this pull request um, which will which will trigger the Jekyll site to be rebuilt and I'm going to close this and if I open this again we can see that our our new review um, is here so yeah I hope this was uh, useful to show how quick and easy it is to uh, to integrate with static man um, the repository is available for you to fork and mess around with and uh, if you get stuck, please feel free to ping me on Twitter or to file an issue on the Static Man repo. Um, I hope you like it.